Hello and welcome to this walkthrough on how to use the Stacks Detector. By default, the Stacks Detector is disabled. If I enable it, all of the stacks that I find will have their limits aggregated and these aggregated limits will appear in the profiles that I can create. If I disable limit stacking at any point, my stacks will still be remembered, but each policy will be evaluated separately. When I turn on the limit stacking, the first thing I'll notice is that I can identify stacks based on different fields. For the fields that contain strings, we utilize fuzzy matching, which allows us to still identify stacks even where typos exist. By default, we're using the insured name and the inception date. If I click to start scanning, or in this case, restart the scanning, the platform will then identify any stacks and suggest them to me. So on the stacks review page, we have a list of all the stacks the platform has found. For this example, we only have one. And the first thing I want to point out is that it's telling us this stack is conflicting. And the reason for this is we have multiple layers that don't stack nicely on top of one another. And this is primarily due to the different coverages that we have that are split across the two layers. To deal with these complex edge cases, we can use the advanced options. If I navigate to advanced options and click on it, it brings me to a new page where we have a table which looks similar to the first table we saw. And again, this allows us to group by certain fields. We can select the fields from which we want to create subgroups. Each subgroup will have its limits aggregated together and then in the second step, we tell the platform how we want to aggregate these subgroups together. By default, we're using coverage. So what will happen is I'm going to end up with two subgroups, one for contents and one for liability. If we look at the aggregate limit, for contents, it's going to be 6 million plus 11 million for a total limit of 17 million. And in this case, it will be the same for liability. So I've ended up with two subgroups with two limits of 17 million. In the second step, I tell the platform how I want to aggregate these together to form my overall stack. By default, we're using the max, which as you can see here, takes the maximum limit, which in this case is 17 million. Alternatively, I can select sum, which is going to give me a total limit of 34 million. And in this case, the minimum will give me the same result as the maximum. So once I'm happy with the output of my stack as shown below, I can confirm these changes and these changes will take effect across all of the stacks that I end up creating. I'm now going to confirm these four policies as a valid stack. I've now created my stacks on the platform. At any point, I can review the existing stacks that I've created and make changes to the advanced options. If I update my data or I want to find stacks based on other fields, I can restart the scanning process. And finally, I can jump to my stacks at any point in time. This redirects me to the policy border row page. And if I scroll down towards the bottom, I can view the stacks that I've created.